Toastmasters and guests. I don't think there are any guests, but Toastmasters. I'm here to tell you that the most important thing for you to do is choose the best project manager. My daughter-in-law got me into something that I never dreamed of. She was at Rady Children's Hospital explaining or, or listening to a speaker who was talking about the fact that children who have brain cancer do not have any supporters to bring about research and so forth. There aren't the monies to do that. And she was so struck by that, she came home. Of course, my grandson is a brain cancer survivor. And she said, Mom, you've got to get excited about this because we need to raise some funds. I said, well, OK, uh, I'll go with you, and we'll meet with the doctors and the foundation at Rady Children's Hospital, and we'll see what we can do. Well, she oversold me. She told them I could move the world and all kinds of wonderful things. And, and so I sat down with the doctors and the foundation people, and I said, this is great. There was all kind of crapulousness going on in that room because ideas were flying every which direction. And I said, this is great. We'll put on a comedy show. I think this is fabulous. We can make a lot of money. We walked out, and I'm thinking, I just came up with the greatest idea ever. What I didn't know was that I would be responsible for that idea. <laughs> I thought Rady Children's Hospital would just take it over and do it, and all I had to do was cook up the idea. Well, lo and behold, the foundation president called me, and that night she said, I just want to clarify, this is your project. You do the work. We get the money. Oh, my goodness. So that night, I was on Facebook with one of my favorite comedians. He's a six-figure comedian, by the way. And he's internationally known. And you didn't know it when I talked about this two weeks ago, but you know him. His name is Dan, or Daniel, Nainan, N-A-I-N-A-N. -A -I, I want you to look at him on uh, YouTube. He was the opening speaker for Toastmasters International Convention. And the reason he was is because he was so afraid of public speaking, he joined Toastmasters. And he was written up in Forbes magazine about a month ago because he's taken what he learned at Toastmasters and become a worldwide comedian who is well known. Well, we were, and I want to learn from the best. So I was talking to him on Facebook and I said, have you ever thought about doing a show, a benefit show? And, and uh, I said, because I want to raise money for pediatric brain cancer research. Would you consider coming to San Diego to do that? The email came back. He says, of course I'd do that for you, Karen. I've never laid eyes on the man. We're just friends on Facebook. And he lives in New York City. He said, if you pay my way there, my, my way back home, I'll be there for you. I could hardly believe it. The next day, I called a friend and I said, Let's go to, uh, meanwhile, well, I'm sorry, I, oh, well, I just blew my whole state. <laughs> when I got the message from Rady Children's Hospital that I was in charge, I told them, this project is too big for me. I wrote to my daughter-in-law and I said, this project is too big for me. But then here comes Daniel and he says, yeah, I'll come. The next day I asked a friend if she would go to, with me to San Diego to see Jeannie Robertson who everybody thinks is related to me. How I wish I was related to her and had that southern accent like she has, but I'm not. But I wanted to meet her and have my picture taken with her. So I went to San Diego, I got to meet Jeannie Robertson and see her performance. The minute that I walked into the theater, this beautiful theater that seats 750 people, I said, this is the place for the comedy show. I walked out the door, and the first person that I ran into, I said, could you point me toward the manager? And he went. <laughs> I said, could I do a benefit here to raise money for children's brain cancer research? He said, call me tomorrow. I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. He gave me this theater for $1,000. Normally, it's $3,700 to $5,000. He gave it to me for $1,000. The next day, I ran into a friend at the bank, and she said, you'll never guess what I'm doing now, event planning. <laughs> so in three days, I had the comedian, I had the venue, and I had an event planner who sat down with me and gave me an entire list of what I needed to do to plan this thing. I wrote
wrote back to the surgeons and the foundation and my daughter-in-law. And I said, I told you three days ago this project was too big for me. But I found out that it's not too big for God. And I've decided to make him the project manager. <laughs> and so I would suggest that no matter what you do in life, you choose the best project manager. And I have flyers that I want to give you because I'm still hoping that those 750 seats will be filled. But since I have a little more time, I'll tell you something that happened in this month. One night I could not go to sleep and I said, Lord, what if only 50 people show up and there's 750 seats? I felt like he was saying, move them all to the front. <laughs> and then he began to give me the most fabulous speech I could give if only 50 people were there. And I bounded out of bed, got my computer, and I've written it all out. So if those 750 seats aren't filled and there's only 50 people, I've got the speech already. Choose the best project manager. Right. Next,